It's food. It's food. Pour it up. It's food. It's food. It's food. Pour it up. What's up, y'all? This your girl Savvy, and we back with another food for thought, baby. Hey, look, I miss you guys. You know. It's been a wild couple of months, but you know we here, we back at it, baby. What's up? But anyways, so check this out. As I've been resting and I've been really getting into my word, you know, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I always read my word just in general because you have to study to show yourself approved. And that's one thing I always tell people. You have to read the word and you got to pray. They go together. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you exercise, you got to eat. If you don't eat, you're going to pass out while you're exercising. So if you don't have that word in you while you're trying to pray, you literally are running on empty. So look, check this out. So as I've been reading my word, I, I got done reading the, the actual Bible, you know, and I was like, come on, man. So I was about to start all over again, which I, I, I still, you know, read it. But now I'm in the Apocrypha. And if you guys don't know, that's the hidden books of the Bible. These, these are the books of the Bible that were taken out. And you already know, you know, when we deal with demonic influences, they take bits and pieces out and leave you with the rest. So let, let's, let's start from the beginning. So when we go to the book of Jubilees, which is written by Moses, it literally speaks about how when Moses was up on the mountain, he was up there with, you know, Yahweh. And he was up there with an angel. He was giving Moses the information from, from the Lord. He was like, hey, let me take you to the beginning of time to Adam and Eve, and we're gonna go forward all the way to your time. So he literally took him through everything, you know, Abraham, all that, Joseph, all that. So he told um, Moses, he said, hey, I'm gonna tell you about the watchers. So originally they were supposed to be here to to literally bring order to the earth. That's, that's the, the falling angels. They're falling down because, of course, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. So the watchers were supposed to come here and watch over us, in a sense, and protect us, kind of. You know, kind of like delegating the Lord's duties to the angels. I, if, if I remember correctly, and I'm going to have to find a verse for you all. But when the angels were up in heaven, they didn't have women to to be lost in their beauty so when they came down to earth and they saw all these beautiful women these angels couldn't help themselves so they was like hey let's all make a pact i know we're supposed to watch over and protect these people but let's each take a woman for ourselves lay down with them that's gonna be our our, our woman nobody nobody can't fool with them this is our our woman so they did that and each angel showed these women and their descendants how to well they show these women they taught them sorcery they taught them astrology they taught them about the the movement of the stars and the moon they taught them heavenly secrets that we're not supposed to know hence nowadays you have people who now practice like dark magic some people want to call it um witchcraft sorcery all, all these things they practice anything that is not of god is witchcraft it's perversion so they try to make a way out of no way on their own which is witchcraft instead of relying on yahweh our elohim to provide that which we need which is the way he set everything up so when the fallen angels came and they gave all this information to people they messed up a, a system that Yahweh never intended for us to have. He never intended for you to be able to go out and cast spells on people and everything. He wants you to pray and come to him. He never intended for, for lust and perversion to be in the earth. He wants you to worship him and, and rely on him and trust in him. But now that people have their hands on these things, they're able to you know get this information on zodiac signs and things like that and palm readings and crystals and things like that now we live in a world that was never intended for us to live in it even speaks about in the book of enoch how women now learn how to curve their eyebrows a certain way and beautify themselves in a certain way how to cover the faces and we know what that means that's makeup and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with makeup just with anything else in this earth it's only an issue if you're doing it for the wrong reasons for instance i'm gonna give you all a good example some people drink wine 
because it is a good addition to their meal. They don't drink it to get drunk. They still have a sober mind. So they are disciplined enough. It's not an addiction and it's literally almost like juice to them. So that's not an issue. But when you are drinking the wine for the simple fact of you're running from your thoughts, you're, you're not dealing with your hurts, your pains, it's an addiction, you're doing it to get drunk, that's when it's an issue. Listen, all right. So let's get back to the makeup. When a woman is putting on makeup, if she's putting it on just to add to her beauty, she knows who she, who she is, she knows that she's a queen, she knows who she is called to be, that's not an issue. Now, when you're doing it because society says that a woman's supposed to look this way, you're doing it because you have self-hate. You're doing it because you're trying to be like everyone else. That's when it's a problem. And I see a lot of women who don't truly love themselves. And I had this conversation with, with a friend as well who is actually a makeup artist. She was like, a lot of women who sit in my seat don't truly love themselves. And when I show them how they look, because she's pretty dope. This this woman is dope. She done, she done work with a lot of celebrities in the industry. Hey, girl. You see, you see her back there? But anyways, she was like, when I show a lot of people themselves, they are uncomfortable looking themselves in, in the mirror because of their true beauty. And that really resonated with me when we spoke about that and when i read in in enoch about the the fallen angels showing them like how to be, how went show women how to beautify themselves and focus on the beauty which is ego tripping instead of truly focusing on the beauty within that should show outside that 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 hit home so i was like man that's crazy you know who knew that something like makeup is an issue so anyways guys I, I highly encourage you to read about the, the book of enoch you know what i'm saying um read, read the apocrypha in general start with jubilees and, and go on through um another thing i want to talk to you guys about too so when we read about noah the story of noah we don't really get the full picture without reading the apocrypha so i never i, I had another conversation with the, um another you know sister and she was talking about how her, uh, I think her pastor or something said that Noah wasn't righteous for the fact of he walked in uprightness. Because, you know, um, none of us are perfect. He was considered righteous because his blood wasn't mixed with that of the giants. Which makes sense. Because, once again, when I read the book of Enoch, it literally stated that when the watchers came down and had babies with their women, they created the, the Nephilim. Um, generation or whatever which are giants and it, when I read it it said these giants got up to 300 cubits and I researched it a cubit is equivalent one cubit is equivalent to almost two feet so so just just for to simplify it it's equivalent to almost two feet so that means these giants got up to almost 600 feet so you mean to tell me these huge beings walking around they were probably bigger than dinosaurs. They were walking around. They were literally terrorizing the earth. The Bible uh, states that they were, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say the Bible because it's in the Apocrypha. The Holy Scripts, the Holy Scriptures stated that they were walking around eating everything, animals, reptiles, people. So the angel, the archangel Gabriel and Michael and a couple of other archangels, they came to, um, Yahweh they said hey we're looking down at earth right now we see all this evil occurring what do you want us to do about this because you sent those the watchers down there and they literally perverted the, the earth they they didn't do what they were supposed to do what do you want us to do so Yahweh said take the fallen angels lock them up they're they're, they're damned forever you know um, until the end of time and they're just going to burn and fire they said regarding the people we got to get rid of these giants i know the watchers want their seed their descendants to live but that's not going to happen because i didn't create the earth to be this way so we're going to have a flood and i promise that it will never happen again because we're going to lock away the fallen angels the watchers and they won't be able to cast this evil upon my people again so 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 in order to keep us from having to wipe wipe the face of the earth again we're just going to lock lock away these watchers 
and call it a day. So Noah was used because he wasn't a giant. He was actually used to continue, you know, Yahweh's will, God's will of having his people on earth and, and the offspring were created through through him, you know. So the reason why the flood occurred was to get rid of the giants. Now, I want to speak about this coming from the homosexual lifestyle. Still struggling with it. You know what I'm saying? When I say struggle, I'm talking about my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So, if you all know the homosexual, whatever, LGBTQ community, they represent themselves with the rainbow. But we all know that the rainbow is really a symbol from God to let us know, hey guys, I promise that you will never have to worry about me wiping any, you know, um, human races or anything the generations off of the face of the earth ever again until the end of time so literally the a promise that is from god to us every time we see it a, a form of god's love is perverted and now it's it's, it's changed into same-sex love transgender love non-binary love I'm just trying to show y'all the perversion what they what they do. Even on the dollar bill, you know what I'm saying? Like it got in God we in God we trust. But that's an oxymoron for America because money is the root of all evil when it comes to greed, and America is greedy. So in one breath you say in God we trust, and you put it on your dollar bill with a pyramid with the, the all-seeing eye the illuminati so i just want to show you guys nothing new is under the sun a lot of these things that we are taught that's that that we are told is good for us is really the opposite but it takes having a relationship with the most high with the heavenly father in order to learn these things i, I can tell you guys when I started my journey, you know what I'm saying, getting saved back in um, January 2017, I didn't know none of this stuff. If you would have asked me this two years ago, I didn't know none of this stuff. Heck, a year ago, I didn't know any of these things. As you continue on your journey and, and, and continue with your relationship with Yahweh, with God, he will reveal in time. That's what revelation is for. A lot of people tell me, they say, yo, Jazz, I love chopping it up with you. You're a really wise woman. You give great advice. That's from the Holy Spirit. That's from spending time with the Lord. That's from reading my word. That's from praying. That's from getting advice and answers from him. I'm, I'm nothing by myself. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm an intelligent woman. Don't get that twisted. You know what I'm saying? But none of that matters because at the end of the day, it's about what he wants. A lot of decisions that I've made... Is from praying and then obeying, having faith that what Yahweh told me to do is what I need to do for my life. Me going overseas, that's always been a desire to live overseas. But that wasn't just something I just up and did. I followed his instructions step by step. And, and when he gave me step one, he didn't tell me that step one, step two, step three was leading up to leave, living overseas. I just followed his orders. And then just so happened the next instruction was hey get your plane ticket for this date so that we can go ahead and, and go overseas so i say all that to say to say this guys i encourage you to read your word to pray just like just like i said in the beginning of this video read your word pray spend time with the holy spirit spend time with yahweh to get to know yourself it's a lot of self-hate going on in this world and they have all these songs like you know f relationships f love it's all about me I just want to have sex, friends with benefits, all these things. But that's not what he intended for us to have. He don't want you to have a wall up and, 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 and block everybody out. He don't want you to have toxic relationships. That's why I made a whole album about the breakup. It, it was prophetic for me and you because it was my actual, it was me going through an actual breakup because I, I couldn't be with that person. That's not what, what God called me to do. But now he's calling you to break up from your addictions. He's causing you to break up from, from, the, from your toxic relationships. He's calling you to break up from those things that are keeping you from him. Those distractions, people, 
environments. Break up with yourself because you don't even know who you are. And in order to have purpose, to have a true relationship with him, you gotta be vulnerable. You gotta be open. You gotta give him access to every part of your life. And when you do that, he's going to open your eyes and show you who he called you to be. This woman that you see right here on this camera, a year from now, I won't be who I am today. But I love who I am right now today. Every imperfection, every flaw, every good thing about me, every weakness, every strength. I love everything about me. Everything that I've been through makes me who I am today. But as I continue to follow Yahweh's calling on my life, as I continue to listen to his voice, as I continue to spend time with him intentionally, in the world is full of distractions, perversion, lust. I'm going to continue to grow. But anyways, guys, I love you so much. I thank you for, you know, tuning in for another Food for Thought. Yo, I'm so excited what he's doing in 2023. I've been preparing for you all for months now. And I can't wait to show you that. But I thank you for tuning into this video. Share this with everyone you know. Hey, you guys have a blessed day. It's your girl, Savvy. Enjoy your weekend. Even though we were free, we were still slaves in the mind. Message!